we're venturing into this area where uh, in the short run equilibrium, it's possible the firm could be in a very unfortunate situation such as this picture. In this picture, if the firm wants to maximize profits, you maximize profits by setting marginal revenue equal to marginal cost. And that occurs right here. We call this Q star. But unfortunately for this firm, profit would be equal to output, that's Q star, times that fixed price minus average total cost. And that distance right here, this is price minus average total cost, only unfortunately it's negative. You're losing money per unit times these total units means that your this rectangle actually is the total size of your losses or as economists call it, negative economic profit. And so we have to think about what's this firm going to do? This is a make sure we get this on this graph. This is a short run equilibrium. Firms maximizing profits is doing the best it can, okay? And so we have to ask the question, what's it going to do? Well, in the long run, profits less than zero, economic profits less than zero means firms are going to get out of this industry. Because remember what economic profit says. If economic profit, economic profit says, tell us what your accounting profit is, that's all the revenue you can get and all the costs explicit costs that, 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 that are legitimate costs to put down on your, on your tax form. And then you have to subtract off what you could be doing in your next best alternative. Now, unfortunately, there's no line like that on Schedule C of your tax return where you can say, well, you know, <laughs> I realize I made a lot of money doing this business, but I would have made a lot more if I'd gone someplace else and I can write all those costs off. You can't do that. Okay. So what happens, however, is you take a look at the amount of money you're making, and if your amount of money you're making, that's the accounting profit, is in excess of what your opportunity costs are, that is what you could be doing elsewhere, you got a good life. No reason to get out of here. You're making money above what people will be making elsewhere. But when you have negative economic profits, that means the money you're making is less than what you could be doing in some other line of business. You say, I don't like this line. I want to get over there. But you can't do that in the short run. Okay. So in the short run, you cannot exit. You're stuck. You call your broker and say, find a buyer for this brick and mortar. I cannot stay in this business. I've got to get to another line of business. I'm just losing money like crazy here. And the broker says, I'll get on it. But uh, you know, I might, not, I might not be able to get it for, you know, who knows? It might be a week. It might be a month before I find a buyer. Uh, you know, you can find somebody to do a sublease of your, of your restaurant, of your uh, pizza joint in, in Campus Town. And you're losing money, say maybe, maybe somebody will, wants to sublet this storefront because I, I got to get out of here. But until you can get to move out of there, you're still stuck and you can't exit. And so when you do that, you have two choices. One, you can either continue to produce where marginal revenue equals marginal cost, right? You can keep producing where marginal revenue equals marginal cost, or you can shut down. By shut down, we mean exactly what it says. You can lock your door. Put a big padlock on a, and, a, and, a, and, a, and a chain on the door and says, you know, closed. Okay? No workers come in. Uh, nothing. We're just going to lock the door. So in that case, you're going to produce output equal to zero, and you've got to just wait until you get out of, from your fixed cost. And so the question is, that's your only choice. Okay? Uh, as, we, as we discussed in an earlier video, I mean, you might say, well, maybe I just raised prices, Larry. No. You have to take price as given. It's fixed at that piece at P sub zero. Uh, you say, well, maybe I should figure out a better way to produce there. Well, if you if there was a cheaper way to produce it, that is, you lower your costs, you would have already been doing that. Okay, so you really have a stark choice: either keep producing, where you make as much money as you possibly can, marginal revenue equals marginal cost, or lock your door and just eat the fixed cost. So now the question is, we need to derive something that we're going to call a shutdown condition, all right? So we're going to derive the shutdown condition in the short run, and I'm going to write it out. It's pretty simple, really. Uh, we'll, we'll, talk, we'll, we'll talk it through. In the short run, firms will shut down uh, 
that is, produce zero output. If, and I put a big underline on there, if total revenue is less than total variable cost. I, I don't think we'll change that. We'll shut down if total revenue is less than variable cost. It'll shut down if total revenue is less than variable cost. Now, what's the intuition behind this? Well, think of it this way. In the short run, you're losing money, okay? So if you shut down, what's your profits going to be? Negative fixed costs, right? Because you got no money, yet no, you're not paying any variable costs. You're not producing any output. The only cost you have is those fixed costs. So your profits are going to be negative the size of fixed costs. You just got this, suppose you got a million dollar fixed cost sitting in the corner of the room. If you produce nothing, you still are losing that a million dollars. It's a, it's a straight loss. On the other hand, suppose you have your workers come in and you produce where Q star was. Marginal revenue equals marginal cost. And suppose the revenue from those workers is greater than the variable cost. I'll think of it this way. Suppose your workers, suppose you have your workers come and, and, and for today you had to pay them uh, $40,000 in, in wages for coming to work on your factory today. But it turns out the output they make, you can sell for $45,000. Well, look, you only paid these guys $40,000. Look, you only paid these guys forty thousand, and they made forty-five thousand to you. That's five thousand extra you can put towards that fixed cost, which you wouldn't have if you decided to produce zero. So, if in fact the total revenue is at least as great as variable cost, keep producing where marginal revenue equals marginal cost. If total revenue is less than variable cost, shut down in the short run. That is produce zero. That's our shutdown condition.